back. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on something that has been the hype um, or I think is an upcoming hype and I actually already filmed this tutorial once and I just hit it the way it turned out. As you can see, I'm back to my old lighting. I actually prefer this lighting a lot better. I just have to do some experimentation. So this is round two of this tutorial and we're actually talking about glass skin, which like I mentioned is like the new strobing or highlighting uh, trend of the season of 2018 and possibly uh, 2019, I don't know. But I actually wanted to do my version of this glass skin sort of tutorial and I've been kind of doing some research. I actually saw Pixie Wu talk about this on her channel and she actually did a uh, video on glass skin and I just loved how the look turned out. So I want to do my version of this and I kind of want to make it drugstore. Glass skin is basically porcelain looking mirror like skin. It's basically your skin but so much more better and it's like transparent almost so all the products will be listed down below so let's just get started on round two of this tutorial enjoy so the first thing you want to do is basically really moisturize your skin cleanse it really really well possibly go in with a scrub so i've already done all that i've moisturized my skin and um it's ready for prep basically you want the skin to be nice and supple fresh and bouncy so the products glide onto the skin but first as a uh, base i'm gonna go in with something really light this is the nyx first base almost like a primer it is a primer spray next i'm gonna go in with something that i picked up at the drugstore and i was really really um surprised that they even had something like this and it's called the spotlight Illuminator. This is by Physicians Formula. It's called the Spotlight Illuminating Primer Base and this is a beautiful, um, almost like a filter. This is very close to the Becca Backlight filter that they have. So I'm going to be applying this all over my skin and this is going to give our skin like that prepped, glowy, dewy base as well. So as you guys can see, this has given me a really nice illumination to the skin. My skin's already looking dewy, so now any product that we apply on top of this is going to give um, that really glossy, glazed, glowy skin appearance. I am going to quickly color correct underneath my eyes and just around my, my mouth area because I can't avoid that. I just have to do that for myself. You guys can by all means skip this process. I'm using the NYX. Um, contour palette. This is, and I'm using the orange shade. Next I'm going to be moving on to foundation. Now for this I have two options for you guys which are from the drugstore. Uh, one is the Maybelline Dream Cushion Foundation. This has been my go-to lately. It's so nice and light um, and it's just nice and dewy so it's it's great for this kind of look. You can really sheer it out. But today I'm going to be using the NYX Total Control Drops because A, I haven't used this in a long time. I really love the finish of it and it actually gives me total control like it says um, for my foundation so I can go as light as I want, as heavy as I want. It's completely up to you and I'm going to be applying this with a Real Techniques buffing brush. I'm in the shade Caramel for the NYX Total Control Drops. And the key here is to really buff the product into the skin and continue to buff. The more you buff, the more you're going to work that product right into the skin, warm it, warm it up basically. And the more sheer the coverage will be, but it'll still give you a nice even skin tone. For concealing and highlighting, I'm actually going to go in with the same NYX Total Control Drops. But this is a shade, a few shades lighter than my skin tone. It's medium olive. And the reason why I'm using this is again because it's lightweight, gives me control. And again, you don't want the products to be too heavy on your face. And this is nice and creamy um, and lightweight. And I'm actually dotting this on first without going too heavy with it. That way it gives me again more control and then I'm going to go in and blend this out. Mm -hmm. 
Now for contouring, I'm not gonna go too heavy with contouring because I want the face to be nice and bright and natural looking like as I possibly can for like the 10th million time I've said this. So I'm gonna be going in with the Sephora Bright Future. Um, this is a concealer slash corrector and this is in the shade Dolce De Lici. And I'm just gonna be very lightly dotting this because I don't want too much. I'm gonna work in layers and I'm taking the same Real Techniques buffing brush to buff this out. So you can see this is a really pigmented product, so a little goes a really long way. Now before we go in and set all of the areas that we've just highlighted and contoured, I'm going to be going in with one more cream product. This is the NYX A Dose of Dew um, stick. This is a basically like a highlighting stick and what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply this with my fingers onto the high points of my cheeks where I would normally highlight. And as you can see, this is just giving me the most beautiful highlighted sheen. I'm also taking this product underneath my brow bone. I'm also going to hit my chin with this just so that it reflects the light. And if you feel you've applied too much, you can always go back with your foundation brush and sort of tap this down. So as you guys can see, this is starting to come along pretty nice, nice and glossy, still very subdued, nothing too over the top and crazy but we're gonna get there, but we're not gonna be too crazy where we're looking like a disco ball. So uh, I'm gonna move on with powdering my face. Now you wanna be very light-handed with this. You don't wanna, you know, powder, over powder too much. And I'm using the um, NYX Mineral Set It, Don't Fret It powder. This is a nice lightweight powder, powder, powder. <laughs> um, it's kind of, it kind of reminds me of like the, the Laura Mercier Translucent, um, but a drugstore version of it. So this is a great option. And you want to use a brush for this. Um, I'm using the e.l.f. This is, I guess, this really doesn't have a name, but it's tapered like this. It's nice and fluffy and lightweight. So I'm just going to be dipping into the powder. And I'm using the tiniest amount of this powder as well because I'm going to be working it in layers. So I'm just tapping some off onto the cap. And that's about it. It's literally that much of powder, as you guys can see. It's not a lot. And I'm just gonna be tapping my brush into it, picking it up, and in rolling motions, just very light-handed. Well, you're kind of pressing and rolling, pressing and rolling. So you're setting the, um, the under eye area where we concealed. And I'm just hitting the spots where I know that I will get oily and just with a very light hand as you can see I'm like barely touching my face so I still want to set the rest of my face just ever so slightly especially the contoured portion because we used cream there so for this I'm going in with a really fluffy heavy brush this is really big but it's actually very he he like fluffy and it's not densely packed. This is the Morphe E2. And I'm actually, with the remaining powder that's in here, I'm just really going to swirl it around, tap it off, and then just with a light hand, just dust it over the areas that I contoured. Because it's like a translucent powder, it's not gonna take away any of the color. But I'm careful not to touch the part where I ended up using the NYX highlighter, the cream highlighter. And that's it, that's all the powder that I am using for this tutorial. You don't need anything more, you don't want anything more. Because again, you still want your skin to look like skin for the fifth time in this video. So anyways, we're gonna move on to my blush. And for blush, I'm gonna be using again something light um, and airy. So I'm going in with this NYX blush. This is in the shade Mauve Me. And I'm gonna be using the lighter color and for application, I'm gonna be using the Real Techniques blush brush. And as you can see, this is barely adding any color, but just a, just a hint of that pink that I want. So 
as you guys can see it's there but it's barely there so only when you you would only notice a blush like this in certain angles which is something that I enjoy for blushes I don't like to go too heavy with blushes anyway so moving on we're gonna move on to the fun part which is highlighting and I'm gonna be highlighting on top of this and giving it more of that glow so for this I'm gonna be using the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek Pearlized Finish. This is in the shade Flexitarian. Um, and I'm going to be applying this just with my fingers because it is a wet formulation. It doesn't really go on that smoothly with blushes, but it is very blinding. So you want to be extremely gentle with this. Like that's just one swipe. So I'm just going to tap, tap, tap. And then go in with a uh, Real Techniques, this is a setting brush. And kind of blend it out. So there is one last final step to this process where you're going to look like as if it's a healthy glow from within and you didn't strategically place the glow where you did. Um, and I'm going to be going in with the Maybelline Master Chrome rose gold um, highlighter here and I'm using the same Real Techniques blush brush that we did. I kind of tapped off, um, cleaned it so we don't have any color so make sure you do that. If you have a clean brush, use a clean brush so much more better but I'm just going to go ahead with this one. Alright so what I'm going to do is I'm literally, this is really again very pigmented so I'm just literally going to tap tap, tap tap and kind of go in circular motions around this area so just this area very lightly in circular motions. It's just gonna be very light-handed. And same thing on the other side. I'm gonna again go in a C shape where you're just making a, a round O. And you want to do this because you kind of want a little bit of that shine to be in your, on your eyelids just very lightly, very soft so that when you turn the light hits your eyelids and it looks nice and glossy. Next, without taking any extra product, you just want to take this down the center of your forehead, just like so, so that you get that all over center glow without actually going in and putting highlight on your nose. The last and final step is just taking a clean brush and again I do this pretty much all the time and I just go in softly in circular motions to tie the entire look in, that's all. I'm going to set my skin with some NYX Dewy Setting Spray. Alright guys, so really quickly I ended up finishing up the eyes and the lips. I didn't do anything to the eyes, all I did was put on a pair of falsies. These are the Ardell Faux Mink Lashes in the style 811, nice and feathery, light. As you can see, it just completes the look. And also for my lips, I ended up using the Rimmel Exaggerate Lip Liner. This is in the shade um, Enchantment. And then on top, I ended up using the NYX Butter Gloss in Tiramisu. And also, I, as a topper, ended up putting this dewy, uh, the stick, the, the Dose of Dew stick from NYX, um, just to add more shine. And it's a fairly simple look, but it's also a complex look at the same time. It requires a lot of blending, a lot, quite a bit of patience, and uh, but it still is nicely, it's achievable with all drugstore. Like, this is great. Like, all of these products are drugstore. Um, it's not sponsored by NYX or Maybelline or anything like that. These are things that I've bought from my own money and I really like how the, the how this turned out. Um, really quickly, just to touch base, I think everybody needs to purchase this. This is a beautiful, beautiful primer, um, illuminating primer. It's a great dupe for the Becca um, backlight primer that she has. Um, and it's amazing. This is really, really nice. And it's great for drugstore. It's a, it comes in a glass bottle, Physicians Formula. Like, they really, they're stepping it up. Um, even with their bronzers and stuff. Great stuff. The ColourPop 
flexitarian highlighter I have been using this for a few days now I just got my hands on it people have been raving about this for years and years and years I just haven't had the chance to grab it but uh, now that I have I see what the buzz is all about and I'm really loving this the formulation is great it's nice and cushiony um, and wet cool to the touch but it's so blinding like it's it's absolutely beautiful but it blends out really really well in the skin so yeah that's it for this look let me know what you guys think down in the comments below and the giveaway of this week is a little special so I am going to be giving away the take me on vacation Kylie Jenner palette these came out a while back so if you did get grab it then I do have this for you I have the eyeshadow palette and the highlighter bronzer duo this is what the palette looks like it's untouched, brand new, brand spanking new. It also comes with a brush. And this is the bronzer palette. It comes with a um, highlighter and a bronzer duo. It's such a nice collection. It's great for summer. The tones are amazing. Formulation is amazing as well. One lucky subscriber is going to be winning both these products. So make sure that you are part of my notification squad. So you have your notification on as usual. You need to be subscribed to my YouTube channel. You need to be subscribed to uh, my Instagram as well because I do separate giveaways on Instagram. And have the notification bell on and leave me a comment within 24 hours of this video going up and I will choose a winner and announce it in my next video. On my last Instagram giveaway, I kind of noticed that some of you guys had a little bit of trouble finding it. That's because I have it on my Instagram highlights under the giveaways uh, tab. So there is a giveaways tab if you go on my uh, profile page. Um, you'll find the highlights tab there and it's actually over there so you hit giveaway and the latest giveaway will be on there so you guys can enter um, and see what I'm going to give away because I know you guys had some trouble so I do apologize for that. I wanted to clarify that this time so you guys know where to head when there's giveaways on Instagram so make sure you are checking that as well. Alright guys that's it for this tutorial. I am done chatting my brains out. I'm going to go and take off all this makeup and get to bed because it's really late. Hope you guys have an amazing week and I'll see you guys next time right here. Thank you for watching. Bye.